What up, astronauts? It's your girl KZ, the Mr. Messenger and Mike Parker at the White House Astro Tarot. Now, let's get started. Tonight, I want to talk about omnipresence. I want to break down what omnipotent actually means. But the actual definition of omnipresence is the state of being widespread or constantly encountered. Whenever we talk about God or we talk about a spirit or it being an omnipotent spirit, we're speaking of one that is ubiquitous. Ubiquity is the state, it's the same thing as being omnipotent everywhere at the same time. There is no place that God's knowledge or the spirit of the higher source is not around you. Again, there is no place that God's knowledge and God's power does not extend. Being an omnipotent spirit, we know that a spirit doesn't have a body. So when a spirit doesn't have a body, even if it does, even if a spirit is within a body, right? That spirit is still present because the spirit is not the body. The spirit is the spirit. It is above this 3D realm. An omnipotent spirit means that you transcend any place, time, body, spirit, location, point in history, era, anything of that nature. Be found within your daily conversations, the music that you listen to, the books that you read. It can be found without speaking. It can be found in silence, in silence just in your day-to-day -day ob observation. A lot of times, you know, we think that when we say omnipotent and God having an omnipotent spirit or any spirit for that matter being omnipotent, that it relates to, you know, it only being in good things. Whenever you step outside of that limited mindset of it being in just good things or, you know, good things that you would consider, um, you know, happy, jolly, full of light, you know, glorifying or things like that, you can find the spirit of God in things that may have been considered darker. Music. Music is one of the best examples to use for this. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, we say the spirit of the Lord is in the room whenever we hear gospel or we are in church, but you can be in a jailhouse or a third world country are listening to the most down low dirty uh gangster rap whatever you want to call it <laughs> trap music whatever you can hear the spirit of god speaking through those things because god is all things um god is the light and the dark god is very aware <laughs> of what we are going through in his creation of the day-to-day -day struggles good times and the pleasures that we go through and the things that we seek out in our lives that may or may not seem so savory to one person or another you know just depending on their lifestyle and you know their personal um opinions about things and the way that you can point out that the spirit of god is there is because these are going to be particular things that speak to your spirit. You know, the spirit is what, you know, triggers something within you. It triggers, you know, um, emotions and feelings and reactions. And it's really going to speak to you and give you answers that you need, you know, in regards to whatever questions you may have been asking. Until I see you next time. Bye-bye.